a 50 pound bag of ready mix concrete for six dollars and change at Lowe's. I had no idea it was that cheap. So now I have WD 40. I just need to find me a bucket to mix it in and one of the mixing sticks that you would generally use. Um, yes, I have an item. I'll show y'all what it is. I got from the Dollar Tree years ago, like 15 years ago. <laughs> and I don't want to get rid of them, so I'm going to make something. I'm probably going to make a lot of stuff with that concrete because I'm not going to let it go. There's this guy. I'm going to try to put up a picture of his his um, channel. He goes by Jorge. love his name. <laughs> and he does a lot of concrete stuff. And a lot of the stuff that he does with the concrete, am I the wrong way? Am I part wrong? I think I probably am. He used from the Dollar Tree. But I needed something heavy for what I'm needing. And when I find them, they're really expensive. So, I'm going to do it myself. So, I'm about to go to my next location. <clears throat> and I'll come back over. Hopefully, I can show y'all the inside. If I didn't say it, I'm going to say it now. Hello, beautiful people. It's Wednesday and I'm off. And I decided to run some errands and I went to the bin. Today is Wednesday and it's $2 day. And the bin is pretty much, like I said before, a guide that buys returns. You go on YouTube and you can see where people are buying returns from different stores. Well, the number one store he buys from is Amazon. He has a big building. It looks like a little semi-warehouse. He got these wooden bins and they just dump everything in each bin. And every day it's a different dollar amount. Like I said, the day is $2 day. So I tried to get as much footage. I even slowed this down so you guys can see. So it's just a bunch of stuff. You will find random things. And today I found some stuff that I really needed. And that was really, really weird to me. Um, Whatever could possibly re be returned, it was in there. It was in there. I saw some stuff. I really didn't know what it was. A lot of boxes. Some boxes, you they were open. Some you're not supposed to, but people do it. Stuff for your kids. Stuff for your dog. This was a strap. Scrap food bag. Um, so I guess you don't have to throw it away. You can just freeze it. Um, school supplies, office supplies, stuff for your body, stuff for your dog, your feet, your children. Um, it was weird, but I love it. I like guess it's, it's just like, it's like a treasure hunt. And then finally what you need was amazing. I cut this down a lot. Um, because some of the stuff, if you see me standing in one spot, I'm looking at something and I have successfully forgot to put it in front of the phone so I can record it. This right here was to help your furniture stay up against the wall. And, and say you have a bookcase, a bookshelf, and you don't want it to fall over. That's pretty much what that is. Um, so, yeah, hair clips, stuff for your nails, stuff for your face. I don't, you just, whatever's returnable is here. Um, I'm amazed at how many pillowcases and shoes and the flags people put out in front of their houses, electronics. Um, people return a lot of stuff, and a lot of stuff is unopened. So I like this place. I'm definitely looking forward to going back. But what was so crazy was I wanted those shoes and I found my, 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 my size had the hardest time, but they had a lot of those. The lady charged me for a dollar. So I don't know if they changed something up or whatever, but I'm sure it's $2 a day, but I'm not complaining. And I didn't realize that after I left, and I was like, hold on, something's not right. But anyway, I got it. So of course, after this, I am definitely going to do a haul. I want to kind of do this voiceover so y'all can kind of see what's what. But, I mean, that right there, that was like, are you serious? That is some other stuff. So what I'm going to do is stop talking because y'all know what y'all looking like, looking like, looking at. And put on some music so you can enjoy the view. So enjoy, have fun. And the next time I go, I'm going to try to do better footage. I needed that. That right now is currently inside of my Amazon um, buggy for five and some change and I got today for a dollar but you would definitely see during my haul I was like are you serious like this store needs to be a store that I visit I wouldn't say weekly just when I need something it's no guarantee I'll find it but I found some things that I actually needed three things that I actually needed no joke so please enjoy Hopefully you can see some good views and <laughs>
tried to do as best as I could recording because there were so much people. Um, of course, you know, I'm going to have to edit some of this down. It is so odd to me that people, I've seen so many people wait to the last minute. Let me tell you something. I always, I learned that when I moved here to shop backwards. And soon, I learned that actually at Coles. But um, let me tell you something. After the holiday season, or after the new year, or before the new year come around, I would go, I would go in that store if I was a heavy Christmas shopping person. I would have a goal of so much money for gift bags, wrapping paper, the the um, the label, the the sheet papers, the uh, what is it, the tissue paper. I will have a goal for that as far as dollar amount, because it will be marked down, so it's gonna be dirt cheap. And then, what else would I have a goal? Christmas decor. I'm gonna get the new Christmas decor. So say one year I do red and green. The next year I wanna do pink. Everything pink, pink and silver. Everything pink, pink and silver. I'm gonna load up on, but it's gonna be on clearance. So I'm gonna get it dirt cheap. So when the Christmas roll around again. I don't have to budge because after New Year's, all the stuff people are going crazy for goes on clearance. It goes on clearance, every bit of it. And that's what you want to load up on all the toys. You know, like if you got a child that's a certain age and you know when Christmas come around again while you're doing all this clearance shopping, they're going to be of another age. Get their toy at the age they're going to be by the time Christmas come around. But people, when I said last minute, so many people wait to the last minute. And I can never really figure out why, but holiday season, and you know the police is out here thicker than a snicker. Why would you be in this store <coughs> stealing and then on the road driving fast? That makes no sense. All time. I'm so excited about this haul. I think I mentioned it, but if I did not listen, the day was supposed to be a two-hour day for some reason. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this chair because I don't like that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the lady charged me a dollar for each thing. No complaints. So, let's start off with these. I always wanted these because, of course, I saw everybody wearing them. And I finally found my size. And Ben had a lot of them. But I finally found what I was looking for. And I got them. For a buck. And they said men's, but, you know, I haven't tried them on, but I'm sure they're fine. I was going to get them when they were dirt cheap at Walmart for like a dollar or two, but my size was not there. So I didn't need these, but the only reason why I got these is like if I have to, I don't want to say step outside or whatever, you can wash them. Like you can just stick them in a tub or whatever and just wash them. That's the main reason why I want them because if I, I don't have to worry about the street, but if I'm outside... Like, if I'm inside, I go outside of my porch, and they get dirty, I can wash them off. All right. Do you see this? Hold on. What does it say it is? Okay, so you know what a mouse pad is. It's probably about, I don't know, half the size of this bag. So, like, that part is a mouse pad. Well, they have these things called desk mats. And I didn't know that was a thing, and it started with gamers. Gamers have them. So they went famous for some strange reason. And I said, I wanted one. And I got one in my Amazon cart. Let me show you. For five and some change. And when I saw it, it was sticking out the box like this. And for some reason, it came to mind what that is. So, of course, you saw the video where I opened it up. Oh, going to my account. I need to look at my buggies. My buggy. And let me show y'all. For some reason, and I don't know if it's because of weather, whenever I go to certain pages of things, they're loading really slow. I'm just going right to the basket. What's taking from Okay. So. Let's see. 594. It's not showing the picture. It's slowly. I don't know what's going on. It has to be the weather. So while it's doing that, let me show you. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Let me scroll it up some. So you can see what I had in my basket at Amazon. All right. We'll just drop. Okay. Now, do I wish they had it in a different color? Yes. But am I going to play? No. 
Okay, yeah, so this is it. And, it, and I saw a lot of these, a lot of these, the same exact thing is always the same as that print. So that's that. I'm so excited right now. Y'all have no idea. Okay, so they had a bunch of these. I tell you what, this will be a part of my haul on Saturday. I gotta tell y'all, I'm not gonna show y'all everything right now because some of the stuff I'm waiting to show you on Saturday. All right, so I am going to do the budget thing and journal thing, um, not so much journaling, and debt thing. So I don't know, this is called a campus binder notebook, B5 size 26 ring. So it's like see-through. Somebody took out the paper, so it has some papers in it, but they took it out and they have these little tabs and stuff. And then on this one, it has like a little, where is it at? A page where you can slip your stuff into. But let me tell you why I got this. You see, that's the binder and it's plastic. Check this out. You pull it and it open up. And you push it and it close. Like it is so neat. So of course, I'm gonna use this for whatever, but this was a part of some DIY stuff that I'm working on. Let me see. Yeah, I wanna show y'all this stuff so bad, I can't. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, she charged me a dollar. So, this stuff right here, I'll do a haul on Saturday because <laughs> this blew my mind. Like, let me show you something right quick. I'll be right back. Okay, this stuff in this bag, I bought Monday and Tuesday. The stuff I found um, today is the stuff that's in this bag. Like, dude, and I was about to go to Target and get another one for $4, which is not going to happen. So anyway, I'm so freaking excited right now. I can't even think straight, but that's the end of this because it's been long enough. Um, did I want to say anything else? No, but I did get, let me show you. My little prepper thing here, fixed. Not fixed, cleaned. And I'll just take me some soap. I didn't even think about that. Let's go ahead and try the Fels Nap to see how well it cuts it. Chop it up or whatever. So hold on. Okay. I got it plugged up. I don't know. I hope you guys can see me. Because the light on. Okay. All right. So... Lock that in there. All right. So that's secured. Blade. All right. Blade secured. All right. So my soap. Let me get a Ziploc bag. Ziploc bag. I'm so excited about this. Huh. This was a great idea when I thought about it. And my background look crazy. Please excuse it. Because, you know, I'm making mess to clean up. Don't ask why. Okay. So let's go ahead and open. Oh, it smells so good. I think you have to. I don't know how small you have to cut them. But because, ooh, that came flying up. Not mad. Um, this is so much fun. Okay. Put you over there for you get on my nerve. All right. Oh. Oh. Man, look. Look what I run the soap through. Look what it does. It starts. Okay. I need to invest more into these. They were a dollar, less than a dollar at Walmart. I don't know what they are now. Oh, this is crunching really good. Oh, hold on. Man, this one cuts really good. The smaller they get, the better they cut. Okay. So I'm going to put all of this in here. The big clips mainly. And let's see what my little friend does. Well, you might as well since you already started. Like the same when we go make no difference that you put the dust in there. All right. Wipe my hand off. All right. Oh, it has such a clean smell to it. Okay, so this part goes in. Make sure this is on. All right, so push it down. 
lock goes in this way. Okay. There it is. Hmm. All right, so to turn it on, I have to turn it this way, and then to stop, I have to go this way. I'm treating it like a baby, but this thing is hardcore. Okay, let's go. All right. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Oh, I wish I would see this. Look, 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 look. Look how it looks. Look how fine it is. <coughs> Hold on. The smoke. <laughs> <laughs> if you decide to make your own laundry detergent and you need to cut something up, I have a food processor. I have a little one. That's my baby. I had it for years. And then I bought a big one a few months ago. But with me making soap and stuff, I really want to have designated stuff. This is just me. I'm not judging nobody. But $4 from a thrift store. My food will never go in it. Just the right size. So I'm gonna end this video because it's been long enough. I'm so excited. Y'all see, the smallest thing excites me. That's why I love YouTube so much. But anyway, you guys have a great rest of your day. Tomorrow is Thursday and am I doing anything Thursday? Nah, I'll be in this house. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.